It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. <laughs> discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Box of Delight is with me. Lawrence Akoli. Lawrence, great to see you. It's been a while since I've, uh, I've seen you, but I think it's been a while since you've been in the UK as well. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm here now, so it's all good. Um, can I say congratulations? Um, are, you, are you a father now? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say congratulations. Thanks for that. Has life changed? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's great. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Can I say? Uh, can I ask a boy or girl? It's a boy, yeah. I mean, most people, when they have kids, um, mentality changes, uh, philosophy changes, direction of life changes as well. You grow up a little bit more, even though we're grown up, but we grow up even more. Have you felt any of those changes yet? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I think, yeah, definitely. I think uh, it's like, I don't know if it's a boxing question or just a life question, but in life, life definitely, yeah, definitely in life. I think um, it's given me more to sort of um, plan for, as opposed to like obviously making money and spending it wherever else. It's like I've made smart, smart decisions because of, um, and yeah, like I said, you know, college isn't cheap, and all them things for the, in the next 18 years aren't going to be cheap. So yeah, I'm working towards all that. Absolutely. But let's talk a bit about boxing. Obviously, your ring return not far away in Poland, May. Uh, just talk to me about the move from. Obviously, cruiser to bridge away. You you had a rematch clause. Right. You could have exercised that. You could have taken that. You did say you, you you did say you was going to take it. So could you just explain why that fight didn't take place and then obviously moving to bridge away. That's not a question for me. It's a question for um, my who would have been my opponent, um, my promoters, whatever else. But for me personally, you know, I had to the rematch clause and it never happened. So we just um, we just move on. And moving to bridge away was that kind of. I know you've always spoken to me in the past and said heavyweight was going to be the division you're going to end up in, but is bridgeweight the kind of step towards heavyweight? Yeah, definitely. And not only that, you know, it's a, it's a world title against uh, a dangerous world champion. So it's the kind of level that I'm at and I like to stay at. It's boxing for world titles or going from there. So, yeah. I mean, is bridgeweight just one step? I mean, go there, win the title and then just move to heavyweight? It, it really depends on how the fight goes, how I feel, how I perform. But I think... The most important thing is going and they're getting a KO uh, against a good champion who's on a, on a run of form, you know, beat Babbitts recently. So um, after that, I see how, how I feel. Obviously, I still have to make bridge away. So if I make the weight calm, I might stay there for a bit, but we'll see. And obviously, another change is your training setup as well. No longer training with Sugar Hill. Just explain to me, obviously, that change and that move. Um, and then, yeah, Joe Gallagher as well, who's been around a long time has had multiple world champions. Yeah, I mean, the first one, obviously, me and Sugar uh, had a great relationship, uh, two fights. Obviously, going to America was getting tough, especially with the um, newborn and stuff like that. And uh, me and um, Joe obviously clicked in Saudi. Uh, he's head of the Saudi um, Mike Tyson gym. So that's where me and him first got to work when I was sparring. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. You're bridge away now. Huh? Yeah, none of that's none of that's none of that's important. Yeah, but um, so he always makes. You're talking about Joe Gallagher. Yeah. So anyway, he was uh, head of the. Um, he's head of the Mike Tyson gym. So when I went there, I was sparring Parker for Wilder. So I, that's where I really got to see what he's like in the corner. So and he was good. So I went from there. I mean, the fact that you're based in Dubai. Joe's training a lot in Saudi, not far away. I think it's two hours on the plane. Yeah. Is that one of the reasons that makes it convenient? Yeah, yeah. And, and not only that, yeah, I mean, that was the first bit, but obviously if I went and I trained with him, I didn't like it. It wouldn't matter where he is, do you know what I mean? But I trained with him, I liked his philosophy. He was very much, like, he was insane. As I said, when we first started working together, um, I'd been out for a while, a little bit out of shape, but he didn't care. And then obviously with all the stuff that I do outside of boxing, He's, he's one of those guys that's like, I, I, I don't care. I don't care what you've got on there. I don't, know what, I don't care what you've got. What I care about is boxing. And I need to know that's what you want. So he put me through a session of hell, session, session, session. And then at the end of, the, of our little couple of weeks period, he's just like, I just wanted to make sure that you wanted it. And I was like, I, I do, let's go. So we're just we're rocking and rolling now. Are we yet to see the best of Lawrence Zaccoli? I think so. I think, I think experience is a, is a great teacher. I think that, you know, when I look at myself in the gym, I look at myself in some fights, I look at myself and what I've been able to bring up myself with 
you know, I don't want to say I'm limited because I've been a world champion, I've won all these belts, but it's like, I kind of ran through everything. Amateur, pro, got to this point. And I feel like with this chapter, with more explosiveness, with a little bit of lessons from the loss that I had, I feel like there's more to come, a little bit more um, intent as well, because now I'm not boxing with a fear of losing or a fear of... It's like, oh, I'm here because I want to be here. Like, I don't need to box at all. So it's like, this is... This is, oh, I love for boxing, so yeah, let's do it. Your name has been doing the rounds this week. Obviously, Dylan White's here tonight, supporting Babbage, supporting Wardley. Spoke to Dylan and he said your name came out, that potentially that's a fight that could happen. I remember a, a few years ago, everyone was getting excited. And it oh, I swear everyone was getting excited. When I said it then, people didn't believe me for some reason. I said, oh, boxing, when I was a cruiserweight. Now we're here, like I'm a bridge away, hopefully two-time world champion and then we can make it happen. I don't see why not. Lawrence, appreciate your time. Enjoy the night. Good to see you. And yeah, let's rock on in, uh, in Poland. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Win gold now. IPMB is giving away 524 karat gold coins to our token holders worth over $2,000 each. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you very much for this uh, great news. It's amazing. It's never been easier to own gold. So join the raffle now. I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.